Okay, so let's take a look at the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Pack. All right, so let's take a closer look. I got to get up to do this because I can't see the lens and what you're seeing actually in there. So this is the Trinidad Maruga. And as you can see, that is the most common shape this pepper makes. It's, this is pretty much what you should see when you get this pepper. It's kind of a bulky, fat kind of a pepper like this. And then it has this navel that sticks out of the bottom. And then there's these three lobes that form. And they're tucked in. If you can see, they're kind of tucked in. And the skin is very wart-like. It's very uh, raspy and wart-like. It's, it's very gnarly looking. But that's a Maruga. And that's really what you want to see. When you're growing this if you're getting any other shape out of it with tails and things i don't know if that's a true maruga so you have to question your source where you got your seeds you really want to look for certain characteristics in the phenotype to really make sure that you're growing a correct pepper because if you're getting different things out of it it's a very good chance that either the original seed is reverting back to its mother or the source it's breaking in other words the uh, cross is breaking back down or your seeds were inferior and somebody just crossed them themselves and possibly gave you a really poor cross or you're just simply not getting the seeds that you paid for so that's why I'm showing this to you in this video so you can properly identify this pepper now unfortunately I am NOT going to taste test this it's just absolutely uh, way hotter than anything I can actually handle as far as eating it raw and it's just simply not going to happen with me. So the pepper reviews on these ultra hot peppers are going to have to be slightly different because I simply can't eat these raw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a few more that are still green on a plant but I, I'm setting up this video specifically so I can show you this pepper but I'm going to dry these out and whatever seeds I do get from them, I'll save them. But I'm going to dry them out and make a powder out of it. So I've never actually made powder out of this. So this will be a first year for me making powder. And I'm sure it's going to be good and it's going to be hot. But that, in my opinion, is probably the best way to process these peppers. Unless you're able to unload these fresh and you can get top dollar for them. I mean, you can sell them on eBay. You can sell them on Etsy. Uh, there's a number of ways you can actually move this product as a fresh product. All right, so let's cut it open and take a look at the inside of this thing a little better. And as you can see, too, I also have a few more. And the phenotype is very consistent. Every one of them that came off that plant is pretty much the same thing. Very gnarly. Very, very wart-like on the outside of it. Just really, really, really beautiful looking peppers. You don't see the tails on them. And that's good when you don't see the tails on them. Because that's not what this pepper is supposed to look like. If you see something like this coming out of it, there's a good chance that it may be something else. Or This is what you want to see. Alright? That's what you want to see. Alright, so let's cut this one open. Give you a cut. Now, a lot of people like to cut them in half all the way through, but being I'm saving seeds on it, wow, this thing's soaked with water on the inside. Don't ask me why. Not a good example here. Oh, it's not rotten yet, but it's, for some reason, it was totally soaked on the inside. See all the water that came out of that? <clears throat> These peppers, when they get ripe, they kind of do weird things, so... I don't know if I'm even going to dry that one out or if it's worth it. Okay, so here's a good one. My hands are still burning from a video I just recently did on saving the seeds. 
my hands are literally still burning right now. And doing these even today is really going to be a, cause me a lot of pain. So, as you look on the inside of this, you see all the oil in there. You really want to keep that off your hands as much as possible. Keep it in the pepper so when you dry it out, it, it, it dries into the pepper. You really want to keep that oil. That's your capsaicin oil. So, that's what it looks like on the inside. And we'll attempt to cut this other part out here and peel that back almost looks like a flower right but I don't know if you're in frame or not but yeah that's the inside of it you could see the oil in here you could see it like in the right lighting if I could get you on the right angle if you look in there you can see tons of oil you can see it in there. Just an absolutely gorgeous pepper. How these guys are doing this by eating those things straight like that, I have no idea. There's no way I would do that. That is absolutely insane doing that. I mean, for me to even take a little piece off at the end, I know that right now I could cut a little piece off and taste it. I'm not going to go on camera and do it. Usually the very bottoms aren't as hot. It's not the heat that I really want to... I just want to sample a taste of it. God, that is hot, man. I took that little piece off without any question at all. That is easily over a million. And you could tell that it's over a million because the type of stinging effect that it gives you, as soon as you put it in your mouth, it burns you immediately. Now, as far as the taste, now I just tasted a little bit of that. As far as the taste of that, it's very fruity like a habanero type flavor. But like I've said in some of my other videos, when you dry these out, they get this real good smoky cayenne type type flavor. They lose that fruity flavor, and they get this really nice red pepper flavor, which is really, really tastes awesome. So that's really what I like to do with these peppers is, is dry them out. But that has a nice taste. It has a nice fruity taste to it. Not quite habanero fruity, but definitely in a habanero fruity type flavor. It's very hot. I can't even begin to describe the heat. It's just a, it hit my tongue, and it was just like, it, wherever that mash from that thing wherever that went it just burned it so i only took a little bit and it just didn't really if i was to eat and that was the bottom of it if i was to eat up close to the seeds it'd be absolutely unbearable but yeah that's a it's an absolutely delicious pepper i definitely highly recommend this pepper um if you're a hot pepper grower and you want to just try new peppers other than reapers this is a nice one to try you can get these seeds fairly cheap now online. I think I paid two or three bucks for them. And uh, just give them a go. Yeah, that's a wonderful pepper. Unfortunately, I can't do the plant review on this because it did drop most of its leaves and it looks very skeleton-like. And there's really not much to really discuss. I like to usually review the plants when they're full of bloom and they're at their, at their, their peak of growth because that way you can see what the plant looks like. So it's really hard for me to describe what the plant is to you right now and with the leaves off it and everything. So I figured I'd give you something on it and you could see what the maruga looks like and you know that's that's about all I could do at this point. All right so that's your pepper somewhat pepper review for the Trinidad maruga scorpion and there's also a couple different marugas. I, I do have other ones growing. I don't think they made enough peppers but this is the red orange or red maruga so all right if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one take care